What's up guys and welcome back and this is going to be my Shockwave toy review. So yeah, this is Leader Class Transformer Siege toy review as you can see. And uh, yeah, I have another Siege toy right here and uh, looks like we got one added to the uh, mix again. But either way, let's take a look at the box before we start on the figure itself. But to start off on the box, we have Shockwave in nice photo art. Now, this is something I just found out is that if you had a black, if you have a black light, you can run it over and you get, you can scan it over, but and you get some images over it. But either way, I don't have a black light, so that's basically useless. But okay, just wanted to point that out for the people who have black lights. And that must be some type of scientific symbol or something. I don't know what that is. As you can see, it says Decepticon Shockwave, <laughs> War for Cybertron, S114. I think this means that it's Series 14. Like, as you can see on the back the corner, it says, series, it says it again. I think it stands for Series 14 and all of that. As you can see, he has a surfboard mode where you can ride on top of it and then there's the big mode itself and then there's this mode this mode yeah on this corner there's ultra magnus now just so you guys know there's actually four modes four modes modes that you can maybe five possibilities you can do with this armor but you could probably do way more creativity with this armor than you think Decepticon symbol at the very top, and War for Cy Transformers War for Cybertron symbol, and uh, yeah, that's basically it for the box, and uh, now let's get back into the actual toy itself. Yeah, alright, so here is Shockwave for the Siege toy line and uh yeah this is the leader class of course and um yeah i really like that it's spaceship i guess <laughs> it's literally a spaceship in purple of course there's the iconic stuff right there but uh yeah that's basically it for this as you can see there's nice molding in this all purple because it's purple but the chest as I'll take well you know what this part right here I'll show you guys later once we get a close-up at it but it's pretty cool I really like it and uh yeah you got as you can see it's just armor added on makes it a ship but uh yeah let's get some actual people in here to show you how big this guy is so we have of course Megatron as you can see Shockwave is clearly bigger because it's Voyager and this is a leader class but uh, either way they're great figures either way not a big fan of Megatron's tank mode. Just gotta say that. But it's a decent figure. I really do like it. But, uh, yeah. This is Shockwave. And, uh, yeah. Let's also get into another Siege figure that I have. And that would be... Uh, this is a very unfair comparison. But, uh, yeah. This is, um... Skytread. <laughs> Skytread compared with... Sound with a shockwave. There you go. Uh, yeah. So now that we got that part done, let's move into the actual <sighs> shockwave figure. So let's just, for this, you're just gonna wanna remove the armor by like removing this from the actual. You know what? Just take off the entire part right there. Just tear this off. And then you'll just take it apart like that. And there you go. Now you got the hand and feet armor. And then just do the exact same side. 
did the exact same exact same size. There you go. Got the armor there. And now you have a smaller spaceship. I'm just joking though. No. You gotta remove this part for you gotta remove this part before you can get the actual part of it. As you can see, you're just gonna want there's a tab part right here, these two. You untab it. Tear it like this. Well, I mean, not tear it. You're gonna break it. But I mean, like, just move it part like that. There's two more tabs right there where these two tabs. Where there's tab. There's a tab right there where, right there where this part comes undone. You can barely see it because it's purple. But either way, it's a good figure. <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> you got the front part done. And uh, yeah. Here is a smaller spaceship, but if you want to really get G1 like, flip it over, and there you go. You have a G1 shockwave gun. <laughs> this looks very like it's G1 gun mode, and uh, yeah. This, this is G1 mo uh, gun, uh, gun mode mode. I don't know why they decided to add on all that extra armor. Oh, wait, that's right. They're not allowed to make guns for some reason. I don't know why. But, uh, yeah, here's Shockwave in the actual uh, gun G1 mode, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, yeah, this is Shockwave in his gun, gun mode. So, shall we get the transformation for this guy? <laughs> I don't think you guys need to see uh, the actual process of it. So, first thing you want to do is take this cord right there. You see it's plugged in right there. Pull it off like that. And, uh, yeah. You see there, it's tabbed in right here. So, you're going to want to pull it up like that and untab it like that. And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna, just going to start off with the feet, but uh, I'm just going to move with the feet. So you're going to want to take it and pull them. Jeez, you got to really like put a lot of force in this. And there you go. You just split it in half. And it should just split like that. <laughs> uh, there you go. As you can see, you want to push this joint up here. Like, as you can see, you're going to want to, there's this joint right here, you're going to want to pull it up. There you go. Do the exact same thing to the other leg. Pull it up. Pull it up. And stabilize it in. And for this side, there's this part. You're just going to want to flip it around. And then tap it in. And then you got one foot done. Now do the exact same thing for just pull or turn it around, tap it in. And there you go. You got the feet done. I'm just joking. Turn the you turn the you really want to turn this joint around so it's facing that way. That way. There you go. Now you now we're done. I'm just joking, no we're not. Cause that would be really stupid if it was oh my gosh so as you can see there's two tab parts right here you do not want to separate those you can do that if you want but honestly you just want to pull this up like that okay as you can see there's the two arms for shockwave pull it down that the exact same thing they just come right down like that and uh yeah then you got this part you're just going to want to fold it in like this. Then take this part, push it down. Then you're going to take this, pull it like that backward, and should just tab right in. There's two big tabs on the back. You should see it. And there we go. We got Shockwave. Why do I keep doing this? No, 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 no. See the chest part right here, right? You're gonna wanna pull it out like this. And there you go, you got shockwave tab, and we're done. 
No, that's not right, Shockwave. I need to stop making these silly little things, or I'm just making it up as I go. I'm just joking. I already know how to transform it. I'm transforming it for two days, for about, so I got it Tuesday. So yeah, it's Thursday now, I'm doing it for two days, just to get the feel of this figure. And as you got it, there you go. There's Shockwave. G1 Shockwave, everybody. Um, and, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention. You're going to want to take it, take this cord, plug it right under here. And then there you go. You got the cord plugged in. And then now you got Shockwave. The Shockwave we all know and love. Now, one thing I find is really terrifying is that if you look right into his one eye, look into his one eye. He seems very terrifying. <laughs> no, that's what I find is very uh, funny. I just wish they had a red eye, but I get why they went with the yellow eye. I am okay with the yellow eye. I just think the red eye would make him look more scary to me. But either way, there's Shockwave. And as you can see, we have Decepticon symbol on the hand, Decepticon symbol on the other hand. And, uh, yeah. Let's get close up on the chest like I told you we would. As you can see, you get this nice, good design of the actual head. I mean, the actual part right there. But let's also get a look at the actual head. Unless well, you've already seen it. I don't think you guys need to do it. But as you can see, there's a nice looking design right there of the actual shockwave chest. There's a lot of good design work, all molded in, all purple not really highlighted but I'm okay with it it's a nice figure for what it is for what it is and uh yeah oh forgot to mention there's a gray part silver part right there so uh yeah that's shockwave and now let's get on to the surfboard so as you can see you're gonna want to put it flip it over like this like this okay you got it see these two parts bring them together like this take the bottom two tabs like this and push them down push them down there you go and now just like tab them in together that way it's it's not really thick like that but it will still do and uh yeah got that part done but you know what yeah just do it that way. Now you're going to want to take the feet part. Make sure that this part is folded in. Now I forgot to mention. Yeah, just make sure that those parts are folded in. And you're just going to want. Alright, you see this peg right here? Right here. You see this part right here? You're going to peg it in like this on that same peg. And uh, yeah. There you go. Now you got one side of the thing done. Well, I'm not making sense today. <laughs> I'm not. And then you're just gonna do the exact same thing again. Ow. <laughs> Come on. Everything happens on camera. I don't get it. Why does everything bad happen on camera? <laughs> Especially when you're trying to film a toy review. You get multiple bad things happening. Like the thing doesn't want to come apart. <laughs> Or stick or hold together apparently, but uh, yeah, there's the surfboard. No, you're gonna want to take this seat and hand, leave it like the way it was where you had it in the transformation mode, and just put it in this peg right here. Right here. And there you go. Oh, by the way, for these, uh, they can just, they can just spin up and down, so like, if you're flying in midair, you can just say that he's shooting out of it like that. I think that's a really cool concept. Now, one thing I do gotta say is that Shockwave has a lot of cool possibilities, especially with this armor, and uh, it's really cool how much they put how much creativity they put into this figure and all of that. 
Oh, and there you go. You get the surfboard all done. And of course, let's go back to Shockwave. Now, you can you see there's pegs under here like, you, like they should. You can just peg it in at the feet on those pegs right there. If it wants to go in. And as you can see, it just pegs in like that. Honestly, I like to keep it where it's one footed on instead of two. So, like, I would have, like, the other foot on like this. And he's, like, shooting. Like that. Now, yeah. I find this really a cool pose to do. Because it's just really awesome. You get him st uh, on a surfboard, sh um, looking at you. Now, honestly, you can do this either way. You don't have to have the surfboard. It either way, it looks really cool. I recommend you to do this pose if you guys like this pose. But uh, yeah, that's Shockwave toy review, and it's that's basically it. I'm just joking. We still got one more thing to do for a shockwave. So, yeah, if you want to stand shockwave back up, you line them like this. You know what? For a fair comparison, I'm gonna bring in some Autobots to show you what he, how tall he ranges. Cause I don't have my, cause I don't have my Decepticons all set to go right now because they were all no I can bring in one Decepticon maybe two but all right as you can see we have power of the primes deluxe class dreadwing there you go and then you got quake There you go. I would spend a stand him up better, but I just don't care right now. I just want to get this part done. But uh, yeah, either way, there you go. There is Shockwave. And uh, yeah, as you can see, he's taller than Power of the Primes Deluxe, Titans Return Deluxe. And that means can he be taller than a Voyager? But, uh, yeah, he could be about the size of a Voyager because, he's pr yeah, he's about the size of a Voyager if you look at it. But, uh, either way, from what I've noticed, all the Voyagers that are been coming out other than the sides, Octopus Prime and Megatron, like, uh, Shockwave, I mean, Soundwave and Starscream, they're about an inch to an uh, inch off compared to the compared to the actual sizes of this Optus Prime and Megatron. But uh, yeah, as you can see, this is where Optus Prime ranges up against Shockwave. Their Shockwave's entire body is about an inch tall, um, inch, maybe two inches smaller. Point is, there you go, and it looks really good. You have Hound being out matched by Shockwave, like he's nothing. And I find that's really cool, and all of that. So, uh, yeah, you got all of that jazz right there. Wait, why did I pull Shockwave out? It's his toy review. Sorry, Optimus, it's not your, it's not your, it's not your day. Not your day at all. Now, if you do want to check out Optimus Prime and probably Shockwave, you can probably check them out in, uh, Actually, you will eventually see them in a in some videos on my friend's channel. And they're literally these figures. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have my one of my friends is voicing this version is voicing a shockwave is voicing shockwave. And uh, I really expect I really hope that you guys go check out his channel. He's he makes some pretty good storyline videos, which I help create the storylines, but uh, I don't create the actual, I make the overall story, but I don't make the actual uh, 
what happens in between. That's more of my other friend's job. But, uh, yeah, we share his channel, and we, uh, I recommend you guys go check it out. And we may try to make Transformers videos as cool as much as we can get together as. And, yeah, this is Shockwave, but, uh, let's get to the actual, um, big mode, shall we? Armor mode. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really recommend you guys go check that out. As you can see, you're just tearing off the pieces off the off the uh, sled. This surfboard, it's not that much to do. But uh, yeah, so for this part, you're gonna want to turn shockwave around. You might want to just tap this for right now. It would really help if you did. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna start with the feet. As you can see, you there's a peg right there. You just plug it into the middle peg. And then there you go. You got the foot done. You do the exact same thing for the other side. Then you got both feet done. Simple, easy, not hard at all. Then you take this part, flip it around like this, fold the fold these parts in. You're not gonna need them. Then you plate place it on, on the back like this. Actually, you place it on like this. i putting it on the wrong side. But, uh, yeah. I was putting it on the wrong way. There you go. Tab that in. It should tab right there. And then, if this town pole can move, tab this in right there. Put the same on that side. And it should just tab right in and be like that. Then you flip this out like that. And then you got the back part done. You got the backpack done, anyway. Of shockwave. There you go. I'm just joking. Okay, now there's the hand part. You're just gonna wanna see this part right here. You're gonna wanna take it, pull it down like that, turn it around like that, and there you go. So now you're just gonna wanna pull, push it on right there, and it should just slide right on and tab it in. Hey, that's not... No, don't fall apart. No, 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 don't fall apart. Come on. Why does everything happen on camera? Don't do this. Just do the exact same thing for the other arm. And then plug it in. Plug it on. Slide on. Stay on. And then, uh, yeah, you got Shockwave. You got Siege Shockwave in armor and glory and all. And there you have it. So now let's get the full scale wise when it comes to an actual theater class thing. This is only the Etzo frame, whatever you want to call it, the armor, all. Oh, Leader class Optimus Prime. So this should give you a good see on how tall the actual leader class would be. As you can see, leader classes compared to this are very, very small. So, yeah. That's just going to show you how size this is different compared to Ultra Magnus. And, uh, yeah, originally Shockwave, in my my in my opinion, he should have been a, uh, Vo a Voyager class, but I think they couldn't fit it in the ar actual box, so they added in the armor, so it makes, uh, because the armor, so it makes sense why they made him a actual leader class. But I'm quite happy in Shockwave, and, uh, yeah, quite proud. And, uh, yeah, let's bring it out to this prime once again. As you can see, now, Shockwave is the leader. Compare is now the tall one against him. He stands no chance against Optimus Prime now. I mean, Shockwave stands no chance against Optimus Prime now. I mean, what? Optimus Prime stands no, ch stands no ch uh, chance with, uh, against... Optimus Prime, but we all know that's not true because it's Optimus Prime. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's just gonna. Be, that's just. This is just annoying. This is just an annoying long video. But uh, yeah, here is Shockwave, and uh, 
I recommend you guys pick up this figure. Heck, I recommend you to pick up almost um, all the figures in the actual line. But um, I'm probably gonna skip. Uh, I'm probably gonna end up skipping Ultra Magnus. Haven't I haven't decided yet. But uh, yeah, I really do want to get my hands on that Iron Hat Iron Hide toy. I'm planning to get my hands on it. But uh. Yeah, either way, I'm proud of this. And, uh, yeah, if you don't know, they're also making a barricade toy. I did not want to <laughs> give you guys, I forgot to tell you guys that in one of my other videos. But they're making a barricade a barricade troy, uh, toy for the Siege line. It will be a remold of Prowl, so if you like Prowl and you want to get one that will probably rival him, get a... Uh, get barricade so uh yeah that is it for shockwave and uh hope you guys like this video leave a like on it if you guys liked it and please tell me what is your favorite siege toy for so far in the actual toy line and which care and which one are you probably going to pick up next so uh yeah please tell me if you guys uh, like this video and um i'll talk to you guys later and uh see you guys next time Bye.